Hello guys from my street to Copelli, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start right away really quick. This is the pizza oven and this is the result of the pizza oven even when it was off for two years or the first time that you have pizza oven. This is everything about how to fire up a pizza oven after a few years or for the first time. Go ahead, watch until the end. It's free. Watch until the end. It's totally free. And go ahead, share and subscribe. Enjoy this video. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and show this pizza. See you later. Voila! I supposed to be making this video okay, when I got to Italy, but uh, I post it right now. So hopefully you're gonna you're gonna like this. I got some wood. Let's go. Come with me. Yes, there we go. Well, today I'm going to show you uh, how to fire up an oven after two years that has been off. Like you can see, guys, everything is dirty, everything is covered because it's, that I don't come to Italy for two years. And uh, today. I'm excited to show you how to properly fire up a pizza oven and uh, cure it, uh, a little bit cure it again because you cannot just go and fire up the pizza oven. Take it off all the cover here, like you can see, it's uh, really, luckily it's not wet, but if it's wet, you're gonna go ahead and wait. We, go. we check first, there is no insect inside, no mouse or anything. So now let's get the towel. We give a, a little clean to the pizza oven because uh, we have to clean up everything, the inside and outside. Okay guys, everything is clean and uh, like you can see here now, I wanna explain to you how, what to do inside the pizza oven when you fire up for the first time or when you fire up for uh, after a long time like this. So, first of all, you will need a couple of pieces of wood uh, like this big. So, you can buy this from uh, any store right now. If you can find something like that too, it's even better. So you go ahead and break, this way you have different sides. Just make sure there's no nails inside because these nails, they're really dangerous. You don't see it and they go under the pizza and then you're gonna find this in your mouth. So be careful. And then you need a different side of wood, which is bigger. I'm gonna explain to you right now what is this for. Okay, so God, let me explain you what to do inside the pizza oven. So this is the center of the pizza oven. It's very important that you fire up the oven in the center. So you need also a couple of uh, this thing here, this, uh, I don't remember the, in English the right name of this thing here. So basically you put this in the center, like that on top of the oven. Then you put the smaller one like a cross. So put this across like that. You need to always to keep some air inside this way. And then you put the little bigger one right there in the center, like I've always across. We want a little fire from the center to go up. Don't do this type of thing here like this, like that because uh, fire, to start the fire from the floor to the top, from the center. This way, when it touch the floor, it's gonna warm up little by little, and it's gonna expand the heat on the stone from the floor, the bottom. So keep this big on the side, I wanna explain it to you right now. If you have gas, it's gonna be the same thing, because uh, we wanna light up the oven with wood, which is important to fire up with wood. So let's go ahead and let's do the same thing in the center of the pizza oven. Uh, I'm gonna do it really quick, uh, like a cross here, leave a little space inside. Now we get the smaller one, put it right here, let's cross. And of course we have to go ahead and take off all the ash from last time, like two years ago that I left it inside, we have to go ahead and take it out. So now let's go ahead and let's take off all the ash, which is probably gonna be wet. The people make this uh, huge mistake, which is uh, they keep the ash from last time inside the oven. Right now, let's go ahead and let's fire up the gas. But the gas is not gonna be super strong to bring the oven in temperature that we want to. Because again, in two, three hours, I wanna make the pizza. Uh, so we need to fire up not too hot. We're gonna go little by little. So let's fire up the pizza oven. Let's open up the gas first. There we go. Okay, now we have a little flame, boom. Let's fire up, there we go, there is the flame. This is the gas, very important to not put the flame at the max speed. So let's go ahead and let's put it at the minimum. Okay, now at the same time, let's go ahead and let's fire up the, the wood. There we go, perfect. Now, keep this in mind. See, remember the big piece of wood? Let's go ahead, let's keep three on the side, over there, right here on the side, two, and one on this side for now, for like uh, 10 minutes or so. Another mistake, it's that the people fire up the pizza oven and they leave. 
you cannot leave when you have a fire in your oven. We have to keep tracking. So right now, when we make sure, let's make sure that the small wood is uh, on. Let's wait about uh, 10 minutes or so. And uh, let me show you the next step. So guys, after 10 minutes, we saw that the small pieces of wood are on 100%. Let's go ahead and let's get this piece of wood that is on the side, not all of them. And then let's place it on top. Make sure always you have space on, under the wood. It's very important. The oven now, it's uh, warming up. And uh, let me show you the next step, which is uh, very important. It doesn't have any opening. Make sure you keep the door open. But to save wood and to save time and to make the pizza oven go more hot in temperature, let's go ahead and let's place the door of the oven like that right in front. This way all the heat inside is gonna stay inside. It doesn't go, doesn't lose all the heat. This is gonna bring the oven more in temperature. Every time that the wood is burnt, we have to get the piece of wood on the side and put it on top. So we have to do that for about uh, one hour or so. So every time that you use this, go ahead and put uh, another piece or two on the side. So voila, and we keep it there. Why I'm doing all this, guys? It's because 80% uh, of the flavor of the pizza is the oven. If the oven is not made in temperature properly, the pizza will not come out good. So let's see you actually right now. Wait, right now. Let's go ahead and let's make uh, some dough because we're gonna make the pizza today. Voila, guys, let's make uh, really quick uh, the pizza dough. I got my favorite dough machine here, brand new. I just got it. Of course, you're gonna need, uh, we're gonna focus on the pizza oven thing, but this is also a really quick pizza dough. We're gonna need the 300 grams of Polish, 715 grams of uh, zero zero flour. Let's give uh, a little mix, spin number one. Let's add, uh, 25 grams of salt, 400 milliliters of cold water. Let's put only F before. Let's go ahead and let's check out the pizza oven if everything is good, everything is on flame. It's getting hot, so what we're gonna do now, we have to use the peel because the wood there on the side is nice and warm. So it's gonna fire up even easier than the one before. So let's go ahead, let's keep the, again, the door right there, close and let's get back to the dough. Now it's uh, all together. We can go ahead and uh, speed up gently a little bit more. This way we are building the gluten really strong and the goal to make the pizza soft and crunchy is to build uh, the gluten really strong. If you wanna see something more professional and more explained detail by detail, so I have my masterclass that you can look the link uh, in description and that's it's a basically a full course of 24 videos step by step how to make the pizza and also guys i at the end of the course you can get a certificate signed by me what are you waiting for go ahead check out the link below on the description okay now that everything is together we're gonna go ahead and speed up at the max speed and easy little by little let's go ahead and add the water not all together guys Every time that they put the water, we're gonna wait the, the dough absorbs the water. And then this process is gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay guys, after 15 minutes, I have the last uh, little bit of water. I'm gonna wait. Like you can see, I put everything on top of the dough. So now we wait that the, this dough absorbs this less water and the dough is ready. This dough machine is one of the best. Guys, of course, link in description. If you wanna see a review about this dough machine, please comment below. Ding! the dough is ready Woo. I want to show you what I'm talking about let me take all look at this water it's super strong what I'm talking about is the structure of the dough which is really strong and that's why the pizza will come out soft and crunchy see okay you can have this problem that it goes off so if it goes off of course use a little bit of this not too much little bit fire up and put it under the wood and the oven goes back on but if it goes off often go ahead and leave the door of the oven open because if you take off all the air to the oven it's not gonna warm up sometimes you have the wind it blocks the heat and then there's like creating a door and then the oven goes off okay guys the dough it's ready let's go ahead all of oil in your hands that's really important otherwise you're gonna break the structure of the gluten 
on the floor here, not too much. Let's go ahead and let's take out the dough from the, wow, super strong, oh my God, boom. So let's go ahead and let's create a ball here. Let's close it, we're gonna make a nice big balloon. Wow, see the air, like that, strong. Put a little bit of uh, olive oil on top, not too much, and uh, go around this way, it doesn't get dry. Let's get the bowl and uh, let's cover up. So now let's uh, wait uh, for about 30 minutes. The dough is ready, let's take it out like you can see, voila, beautiful, nice and soft. Don't touch it, just keep it like that, a little bit of olive oil on top. From this moment until we make the boss, this is going to be the top of the dough ball. Let me make the dough boss, let's keep it always on top, don't try to do this or that, this part is going to stay on top. I'm going to go ahead and make the boss really quick, about 260 grams each. Wow, I can feel, I can feel it's going to be already soft and crunchy. Voila, let's put it in the box. Now, let's go ahead, let's close it, make sure everything is closed, locked, da da da, voila. Let's put it to sleep for one hour. And now the oven is getting ready and now it's time to get ready with everything because we are about to make the pizza. Let's go ahead and let's get ready. Ah, there we go, finally everything is ready, the magic of editing. Anyway, the oven is uh, nicely and uh, about to be ready. Let me see the dough, it's been about one hour at room temperature, it's about to be ready too. So let's get the biggest piece of wood and we put it all the way on the left corner. Then let's get there, let's grab all the ash here like this and we put it right on the front left side. It's very important how you position the wood inside the oven. So now I'm banging the, the peel this way, not like this, this way, because I want to put all the ash on the left side. And final step before making the pizza is cleaning. So how do we clean the pizza oven? Like this. You need a nice clean towel, humid. Even if you think that the oven is clean, I want to show you. This is what you're going to do. Go ahead and go around and clean up the pizza oven. Then turn it and you go this side. That's it. Let's put uh, two pieces of wood on the side right here on the corner, left really close right there to warm up. And now the oven is complete and ready to use even after two, three years. This is how you do it. So now guys, it's time to go ahead, smash the like, Please share, let's reach this 1 million subscribers very soon. And uh, don't leave yet because we're about to make the pizza. Look at this. This is the pizza dough that we made uh, lovely and ready. So here we need a little bit of flour, a little bit of semolina. And uh, flour inside, get the dough, flip it on top on the flour. And now we're ready to make the pizza. So a couple of times there and then now press. Press, press, oh my God, feel the air inside the crust. Voila, flip it over, take off the flour from the bottom. This is the perfection. Can't wait to show you the end. Now, let's go ahead a couple of times like that, boom, 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 via. Little bit of uh, tomato sauce, like always, classic cheese pizza. Little bit on the crust, this way it gets you a nice, good looking pizza. Parmesan cheese, basil, break it because that's where the flavor is. And fresh mozzarella on top. There we go, boom, 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 via. Olive oil on top of the pizza. At this point, the pizza, it's ready to go in the oven. But before you go put the pizza in the oven, you remember those pieces of wood that we put on the side? Now let's go ahead and uh, lift it up in one side and like you can see see we have the flame in the oven and that's what we want so let's go ahead flour on the peel all day and then peel under voila now make the pizza the side of the peel this has is a 12 inches pizza and now let's go ahead and let's cook the pizza let's go let's put the pizza right in the center and let's check Right now it's cooking perfect because if you follow my steps, guys, guaranteed 100% you're gonna be a master. So, oh my God, look at this pizza. Let's go ahead, let's turn it. And the goal is to make the pizza soft and crunchy. Don't forget that. 
Okay. And the pizza, it's uh, three, two, one. Couple of times there, and boom! Look at this pizza. Look, look at this pizza. <laughs> just in time, just in time. Take a look, guys. It's uh, perfect. Let's see the bottom part. Look at this. Look at this. The bottom. If it, this is not the perfection, but shh, let's see if we pass everything. That's an undocking about soft and crunchy at the same time. Now let's complete this pizza. Little basil right there, right there. Little bit of olive oil, even on the crust. And if you want to put some parmesan on top, guys, now tell me if this is not the best pizza. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This was uh, how to fire up a pizza oven, everything about the pizza oven. And uh, thank you so much and subscribe, guys. I'll see you every week with new video. Ciao from Maestro Gio Copelli. Ciao. Action. <laughs> Hello, guys. Voila. I supposed to make this video about when I get when I got. I supposed to get. I supposed to to I supposed to do. Actually, when I got to Italy, because uh, no po make supposed. Hello, I supposed to po, to I supposed to. Oh, vabbè, lasciamo per facciamo direttamente da qua. Lascia per le uscite. <laughs> Three, two, one, boom. Three, two, one, boom. Three, two, one, boom. Three, two, one. Let's get ready. Boom! Fermati così. E la giacca dove sta? Non lo sa neanche dove sta la giacca.